This is a loaded front foot elevated split jump. Now, first thing, whether you stack a bunch of bumper plates up, we have a box, you use a bench, whatever we're elevating, what we want to see is our hip be slightly above our knee in this position. I don't want your knee to be above your hip. When the knee gets above the hip or we're shorter, smaller than 90 degrees in that hip, we're not going to be in a mechanically advantageous position to create power, okay? So perfect 90 is fine. I would love you a little bit more than 90, okay? So knee just below the hip so that we can really focus on being in a good position to create that power down to translate into our single leg jumps or our acceleration. Now, when it comes to load, we're not trying to go super heavy here. We're thinking 10 to 20% of your body weight so that we can focus on the speed of the movement, okay? So how we'll set this up, you're gonna take a dumbbell in each hand, okay? We're gonna make sure we've got a nice forward lean, okay? So knee might be at right above, just past the toes. We're then going to brace the core. And first thing, we're gonna take a little step up and then we plant down to drive, okay? So big core pressure, we lift and then we punch, landing both feet up on the box. We'll switch sides, make sure we're reset, lift, drive. And to get the most out of this, I want you to think, when you plant, you are taking that first step on the pitch to either create space or make up ground that somebody else has created space. So go with an intention, focus, be explosive, don't just go through the motion. 